The show you this kitty. Like, I don't. Can you see? Can it's can just, you just, just this a little cat can here. Can you see this kitty? Here, little cat. This little cat laying here with us. It's really cute. Sorry, there's just a little cat here. It's so cute. Vlogging with us. She's just like having a good time. Uh, okay, so uh, some medical issues have been happening as well. So um, and I and this will ha sorry and this will happen. When right. you start to dig into your health, of course. So be prepared. Yeah, and, and we knew we knew something something would happen. Something would happen. Um, so I was on medication. Um, for, I was diagnosed with bipolar about two years ago, and they had me on medication. Now I had been functioning fine without medication. I had a huge shift in life when we got together. I was having a hard time coping. Went to the doctor. They diagnosed me with bipolar. Um, and so I was on medication. Absolutely. It was helpful. Um, you know, I think that I, after playing around with medications for a while, they had me on something sustainable mm -hmm. that I did well with it for about a year. I was on that yeah. for over a year. Mm -hmm. Um, now whenever we approached the doctor, both the MD, the therapist and the psychologist, psychiatrist, psychiatrist um, I was like, Hey, we're planning on growing our family. I would like to carry you know how you know, wondering about this medication and pregnancy and the psychiatrist printed out this huge stack of things and said read, read this, this and then let me know what you think okay so i read through they 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 don't have an answer no doctor can give you an answer because they don't do testing on pregnant women and yeah. so they can only kind of do anecdotally what happens to the woman while she's pregnant and then do you know and it has to be my decision right. in the end like it has i have to make the decision right and so that was enough to, <laughs> that was enough for me to be like, hey, you nope. know what, at this, at that moment, we had already decided to push back our timeline, and I was like, okay, so if we're not really hit and go till fall, or maybe even January, how about I, I step down, and we did a nice, a really gradual, slow taper. really gradual, really, what do they call it, a conservative taper yeah. off of my medication. And it went so well. Really smoothly, um, that... You know, I know what I need to personally do. I'm a very, I have a uh, high energy, so I knew that me, um, I, I started making bath bombs and, and other bath products. It was a way to keep my hands busy. And when I have a way to expend that extra energy, it's, it's eaten up versus it uh, circulating through my body. And um, it, it was, it's a, manifesting in a negative way. Yeah, so it's positively channeling that energy. And so I've been doing that all um, all spring and I, I feel like I've been super balanced so coming you down off this and um, you know and but and I still have my therapist and everything so you know uh, I still have this team of doctors and we're gonna watch and see what happens and if I can manage myself uh, naturally I would like to be have not have medication in my system um, especially with the addition of medications that will be used in IVF. I was worried about yeah. drug interactions or anything of that nature. Um, cause again, we don't know who knows what, what will happen in two months video from now or, right. you know, and, like, and I think we're leaving the door open that if either of us need to be on any kind of medication to help our stress level stay, um, manageable, that that's the most important thing. This is what we've heard from all, every doctor we've talked to, whether it was a PCP or a therapist yeah. that, um, you know, do what you need to do to keep your stress level manage manageable. your stress yeah manage like because that's the what's going to take the most toll on your bodies yeah that that there that stress is such a such a such it's not just a word like i think for us we've been talking about during like our relationship is the idea that stress it has such a weird connotation like stress is something you should be able to like shrug off right but stress is, is are real stress is real and stress has real physical manifestations in your body and it, like it it's not just a psychological thing like your body actually reacts right, to right. it so yeah. um so ta this spring we've taken the time to you know taper taper off that medication to be medication free now for i yeah. think two months yeah. and um i feel great um and um but during this time i also had another medical issue happen um uh, uh, surprisingly, uh, which you thought was the bath bombs. I thought she was in, con ingesting somehow. She the, thought that I had citric, yes, from like, the bath bomb like while citric she was acid poison, them, and she was getting sick from ingesting like bath bombs. But that's not that's what not happened. Not happened. <laughs> well, I thought too. I was like, oh my gosh, I must have been like eating while I was making them, and I was like racking my brain. What happened was, um, 
there are two things that happened at the same time from what we can understand from the doctors. Uh, and we're still unraveling a little we're bit. We're still unraveling. Um, that um, somewhere in March, I, res I started having um, s intense pain in my abdomen um, that would wake me up at night. The episodes would last somewhere around an hour to two hours. Um, and it would be super intense. It would make me sick. Um, Usually some... followed with nausea or vomiting. Yeah, and and then chills and also sweaty like sweaty all those, chills. Yeah, and... all these things, and then it would go away. But then I I started to panic. But by the end, after a week of this, I was like, every I was like I'm scared to go to bed every I was night, scared, like every <laughs> night. Um, and so finally, you're like, you need to go to the doctor. And so we go to the doctor, and then I have no symptoms. For two months. So, anyways, we're doing all the testing because, right, we're already on this on this journey. Even though I'm asymptomatic at this point, um, but they found gallstones. They're like, "Oh, gallstones! You have a gallbladder. Your gallbladder you, you have gall come out. Can you just come out?" That's and I'm it. like, That's "Oh, because I've never had surgery, so I I'm very leery about this whole surgery process. And also the fact is that um, for those that you don't know, the gallbladder um, is attached to your liver, and that the liver like it's kind of like the little carrier for your bile like while the liver's processing then it goes back through and then it through your system now if your gallbladder's out yes you can survive without it that's why they remove it that's why lots of people have it but that means that that bile then goes into your intestines instead a lot of tmi but hey we're just telling you things these are facts you need to know these facts you tell facts so trying to weigh okay if i do have this gallbladder out but it was hard for me at first because I was like, I haven't had any symptoms for two months. I'm having a hard time. Yeah. Because then they all... And the PCP agreed with that. And the, the PCP was like, yeah, you're not yeah. symptomatic. I and, think the surgery is aggressive. And when they looked at, um, at medical things, they, they found that I tested positive for hepatitis A, which is a foodborne allergen, which means that at some point I ingested... Something bad. Some... <laughs> And, like, who fed me this? I know. And it was when I was out of town. We're at but the, work, so. Whenever they gauged when this would have happened versus the attack. Because we usually eat the same things and at the same places. It would have been while you sick. were traveling for work. She traveled two weeks for work. And so somewhere in those two weeks would have been the time that I was um, exposed. Playing with the girlfriends. Being bad. What? Going to seedy bars. <laughs> Why did I go to work? I didn't go anywhere. I ate like pizza so I don't anyway, know. I don't know. So then why. we were like, "Yeah, it was the hepatitis say That was what was causing her pain." And which is something that you, so you like, have. You have it goes through, and then it's out of your system. So they didn't even. I they didn't even get to medicate me because I was already she lived through it. Already, I just I went to work. I went to work every day. I just kept going to work, toughing it out. That's what sick days are for. Well. Then um, just recently, this past week, I had another episode. This episode lasted four hours now uh and and so um i i mean i do know that the week the weekend previously i did have a fun weekend like i i my I was friend out of town you were out of town so my friend my friend amanda and i were like party and we literally played video games and ate pizza and junk food 13 year old boys i know we we decided to be like let's, <laughs> let's have fun so i paid for it on thursday but that tells me that... it was a pretty scary episode. It was really scary. It was at my parents' house, and it was uh, it was absolutely terrifying. Um, and, okay, so called the doctor, said, hey, I had another episode, and they can't see me for two more weeks, um, and uh, they said if I have another episode that lasts four hours or over, you have to go to the ER right away. Okay. Um, so okay, so I'm eating very carefully now again, um, and, and nothing. She's been fine since. Yep, I mean days. it's it's been yeah it's been about two days since um, the attack, um, and so, so we're in a we're in a place now. So my my dealing with this. My dad does uh, microcurrent therapy, which um, has been helpful for things like last year when I had a concussion um, that. The doctors were amazed at my recovery time with the concussion um, because of the microcurrent therapy, and um, he 
try to help, but I, I was in such a state of Just attack that thing. I couldn't handle any other um, information in my system when he tried to run the programs. Um, but we are about to go on vacation. Mm -hmm. and so, a week from today, we'll be on our way to the beach. Oh, we'll have a vlog at the beach. Yeah, we'll vlog at the beach. <gasps> the beach. Um, so, but hoping that to do some treatment to really help clear, we break up those stones. Like in our fantasy world, we're like, ooh, go to the beach. She has treatment a couple times a day, every day for the next <sighs> week. And then we come back and they do another CT scan and they're like, oh my God. They're you gone. Stones. They're gone. In the dream world, right? Even, we're, we're putting out that positive. Know. Putting out the positivity. Well, okay, because like there's two folds. Like one, I'm like, okay, fine. Gallbladder out. No longer have these attacks. But who knows what complications are afterwards? That's my fear, right? Because you don't know what the complications I are. I totally agree. But either way, there will be complications whether either you way, do it or whether you don't, don't do it. Absolutely. I mean, and you know, or we we get this, you know, because I don't, I don't. We we so also. The, yeah, go ahead. So the real issue was when we when we met with the surgeon the first time, um, when she was asymptomatic and we were pushing back on surgery was awfully aggressive. Why are we doing surgery? He said, "You'd rather have it you have surgery now than you have an attack when you're pregnant and have to do emergency surgery on a pregnant woman." Yes, which, which we we know someone who's that ha that's happened to, and it was terrifying. It was really terrifying for her and the baby, and they had to monitor. I mean, nobody wants that. Luckily, she did great. The, so baby, the baby was great. But that's not something that if we can't avoid that, we want to we right. want to avoid and that. Then, and so does the surgeon, and the PCP agrees with it. Our next stop is um, the OB, and we have a, a an OBGYN appointment. Yes, um, coming up also. Yeah, in like, two weeks, like so right back talking, to back. Yeah, the surgeon and the OB within the same. And we're sort of um, putting all three of those doctors together: um, the PCP, mm -hmm. the OB, and the and the surgeon, and sort of collectively pooling their thoughts about all of this. What's best for Caitlin? What's best for um, her moving forward to carrying um, the? So the gallbladder surgery is is pretty easy, pretty light. Actually, it's it's laparoscopic. They can go in the same day, in and out. And actually, recovery time is is great too. And and um, in the city that we live, they have access to the machines for the laparoscopic. Yeah, so we're, we're so lucky that it's it's machine oriented, and um, that would be a you know fairly easy surgery for for you. I know, I know. It's it's scary, but and 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 the again big picture, yeah. It's probably for the best. So that's that's where we are health wise. Yeah. So so okay. So we knew that these things these things tend to pop up. Okay, but hey, I'm much. I am so glad that this is happening now before we are even trying IVF. Because if this all happened in the midst of it, we would really be. We're doing this now. We're taking care of it now. I mean, we've already been. Really focusing on our health. I, we talked in another video about healthy our living. healthy living, healthy about, life, healthy life. Yeah, that we're we're really focusing on on our on our health. How do we how do we manage our manage our stress? Like we were saying. Yep. How do we eat better? How yep. do we how do we get more activity in our life? <coughs> Excuse you. me. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, we had an allergy attack, so we just decided to call this video quits. Um, but thank you for watching uh, our kind of lengthy health update video. Please hit subscribe if you haven't. If you have any advice um, or questions, please feel free to leave it below in, our, in the comment section. Uh, we really want to be open and honest as much as we can be in this process. Um, so your opinion does matter. Thank you so much.